So here's our next lesson on ratios. It's lesson 14, and we're going to combine everything we've been working on into a main focus. So we're going to be working on how we do go from ratio tables, equations, and double number line diagrams to plots on the coordinate greens plane. Our I can statement is I can represent ratios and ratio tables equations, and double number line diagrams, and then represent those ratios in the coordinate planes. So we should already know how to do ratio tables, equations. We forgot about equations. Remember, that's where we have a right side and a left side, normally with a variable. So x plus 2 equals 5. Or as we've been working with some of our problems, we would have, for example, a total number of sugar equals 5 times the amount of white sugar, just for some examples. And double number lines, so that's a number line where we have two of them, that represent those ratios on a coordinate plane. So remember, a coordinate plane is when we're graphing, and it has an x coordinate and a y coordinate. So this could be 1, 1. So we're taking our ratios from these three different types, putting them on the coordinate plane. All right, so let's begin. So here's our first problem. Kelly is traveling by train with her soccer team from Yonkers, New York, to Morgantown, West Virginia, for a tournament. The distance between Yonkers and Morgantown is 400 miles. The total trip will take eight hours. The train schedule is provided below. So let's just go over to make sure we understand it clearly. Total trip is going to take eight hours. So from here to here is going to be, oops, I'm sorry, we don't start at Allentown. From Yonkers, New York, to Allentown is 100 miles. From Yonkers to Morgantown, that's going to be 400 miles. This total trip right here, that's going to be that eight hours. And then, since they have to return, it's going to be the same thing. When they leave Morgantown, so they're leaving Morgantown, back to Yonkers, New York, that's also going to take eight hours. It's going to be the exact same thing, but in the opposite direction. All right, so let's continue. We need to create a table to show the time it will take Kelly and his team to travel from Yonkers to each town listed in the schedule. Well, let's look. If I start with two hours, how far will I go? Well, let's look here. Before we do miles, let's look. I know the total is going to take eight hours. So what do we have? Well, two, four, six, eight. This is the total length of my trip. And I can see that corresponds pretty well to this. I have it split up into four equal hour parts. Here I have it split up into four equal mile parts. So each two hours is going to be 100 miles. Pretty simple. So let's expand it. Now we're going to extend the table to include the cumulative time it will take each destination on the ride home. So now it's asking us, how about the ride home? So we're starting at Morgantown and we're heading back home. Well, let's look. Cumulative means we're going to add on to it. So we're not going to start a new number table. We're going to add on to this part right here. So it's going to take us two hours again to drive how far? 100 miles. But this time I'm going to add that 100 onto my 400 to get 500. I'm going to keep adding by two for my hours and add 100 miles. Two for my hours, 100 more miles. So here's a representation using a ratio table of my total number of hours and my total number of miles. Notice how they'll all be equivalent ratios. They all have a value of 1 50th. So if you're not sure if you did the problem correctly, check and see. Do they all have a value that is equivalent? And yes, they'll all have a value of 1 over 50. Okay, now it's asking us to create a double number line diagram to show the time it will take Kelly to travel from Yonkers to each town and return home. So I'm just taking my ratio table and converting it to a double number line. So save us some time. You'll notice I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. And then my miles is going to be the exact same thing. So I just took that ratio table and I copied it over. So let's look. Using the information from the double number line, how many miles will be traveled in one hour? Well, I know one hour is going to be right here. And if I notice, it takes two jumps to get from here to here. But it only takes one jump to get from here to here. So how far my number line did I go? Well, I went half of it. 
So I'm going to go the same distance. I'm going to go one half of 100. Well, what is one half of 100? I multiply them together. Or I can do 100 divided by 2 either way. And I'll get 50. So it's going to be 50 miles is how far they'll get in one hour. Just to check. Yeah. The only assumption we have here is that the train moves at a constant speed. That doesn't stop. Okay, let's look at this one. It says, write an equation to represent how d, the distance traveled, is related to h, the amount of hours. So let's check. How do I get from miles to hours, or hours to miles? Well, let's look. I'm multiplying by what? I'm multiplying by 50. It's the same every single thing here. I multiply by 50. How do I get from hours to miles? I multiply by 50. Hours to miles, I multiply by 50. So let's look at our next one. Where do I multiply? Well, I'm multiplying my hours. I start with my hours, and I multiply by that 50. I'm not starting with miles, I multiply miles by 50. Start with hours and multiply by 50. And what do I get when I multiply by hours? Well, I'm getting that miles. I'm doing hours times 50, and what am I getting? I'm getting my miles. So that's really all I need to do. I need to multiply 50 by my hours to get my miles. So here we have an equation to represent that. 50 times h equals miles. Okay, let's look at this next part. Dinner service starts once the train is 250 miles away from Yonkers. What is the minimum time the players will have to wait before they can have their meal? Well, let's solve this using a graph. So remember a graph is when I have a coordinate plane, and I'm going to be graphing some dots. So let's look. As an ordered pair, I would have my hours, miles, and OP. Well, what does OP mean? Well, you'll notice that it has this little one. So just like in reading, I look down at the bottom for a key, and it tells me OP means ordered pair. So what's an ordered pair again? Well, it's two numbers that are in a specific order. So here, hours, miles, 2 comma 100. Next one is 4 comma 200. It's going to be 6 comma 300. I'm going to keep going. Hopefully see how we get these ordered pairs easily. So now it's asking, what do we need to do next? I have all these ordered pairs. What do I need to do next? Well, what I need to do next is I need to graph it. So that's what we're going to do on our next slide. So here I have my hours and my minutes. My hours is going to be on the bottom. You should notice by now in sixth grade that your time is almost always on the bottom of your graphs. And then your miles, your money earned, almost all your other variables are going to be your y-axis. So let's look what the bottom is going to look like with those hours. It's going to be counting by twos. So here I have two, four, six, and so on. It's going to be on this side. Well, that's going to be my miles. So notice, you should notice this from the other grades, but I'm going to point out. Notice how here I'm counting by ones from on my x-axis, but my y-axis I'm counting by 100. Your x and y's axis don't have to be the same. Okay, so let's continue. Where is this dot going to go? Well, it's going to go from 2 up to 100. Where is this one going to go? Well, 4 comma 2, I go to 4 and up to 200. And I'm just going to keep doing the same thing over and over. And you should notice that there's a pattern that's appearing. What is that pattern? Well, it looks like it's a straight line. Yeah, it is a straight line. My original question is also asking me for what? How long will I have to wait before they can have their meal? Well, they have to travel 250 miles before they get their meal. So where is that? That 250, that's in between 200 and 300. So I look. And I see it's right on that five-hour line right here. Okay, so here's our lesson summary. It's a really short lesson today. A ratio table equation or double number line can be used to create ordered pairs. These ordered pairs can then be graphed on the coordinate plane as a representation of the ratio. So several ways to do that. In our example, we start out with the um, ratio table. And then we went to an equation, 
followed by a double number line, I believe, with the order was. We can start with any of those and recreate them all at once. So here I'm going to start with an equation. My equation is y equals 3x. Now just making a ratio table. If I put 0 in for x, I would get 0 in for y. If I put 1 in for x, what do I get for y? Well, I get 3 times 1 equals 3. So you see that's how I'm getting this pattern. I can then use that ratio table to create my ordered pairs. And then those ordered pairs I can take and do what? I can graph them. And here I have that graph. All right. Here's our X ticket. If you are on the computer, which you must be if you're watching this, what you're going to do is you're going to log into Socrative. You're going to tell me your final answer. So you're going to tell me, this should say she, you're going to tell me how much she has when she works 10 hours on Socrative. And you're going to answer this question as well. How long will it take her in $240? I'm also going to be collecting your whole entire exit ticket. So on Socrative, you're answering these two questions. And then you're going to turn into the turn in box this whole exit ticket filled out. So what that means is you'll have this table complete, you'll have this graph complete, and you'll have answered your two questions on Socrative. Okay, when you're done with Socrative and this exit ticket, your choices are as follows. You're going to go on Khan Academy, and you are going to do two lessons. If you're in my class and you need to redo one of your tests, I suggest you review one of our class lesson videos as well after you finish Khan Academy. Once Khan Academy is done, you may go to Math Games. You may go to Ratio Rumble. I've also added some new math games this weekend as well. So you may try any of the other math games or the other ratio games that you see on the website as well. All right, good luck. Do not forget to turn your exit ticket in.